Alright guys, this is our last one of reviewing the units. The next ones we'll be doing, um, it'll just be a review of all the units. Um, so we have this differential equation. It's kind of a complicated looking one, but it's okay. We can do it. It's, it's really good practice for a lot of different parts of integration. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw a couple of solutions through our um, slope field. So first, we're going to sketch the solution through the point 0, negative 1, which is darkened right here. So that is just going to be a horizontal line. So there's that one. All right, and then the second one is going to go through this point. So let's see if I can do this without messing it up too bad. So as I go across the y-axis, I'm going to just, just matching the slopes gets pretty steep and then it's zero and it's pretty steep and it starts leveling out so that's not too bad okay over here okay, so that wasn't too terrible All right, and then we're gonna do a tangent. So we need our slope. And our slope comes from our differential equation. So for y's, I'm putting in five halves, and for x's, I'm putting in zero. So I'm gonna get three halves. So cosine of pi, the cosine of pi is negative one. So my slope is negative three halves. All right, so there's two things we could do. We could go back to our good old point slope that we typically use in a situation like this. Or if you notice that you're given the y-intercept, so we could just do um, slope-intercept form. So we put our slope in front of x and add our y-intercept at the end. Either one of those are perfect. If you use this one, there's really no need to change it. Just leave it like it is. But if you recognize that you're given the y-intercept, that one is easier to do. Okay, so let's look at this, solving this differential equation. This is a doozy, I'm gonna go ahead and warn you. But we can definitely do this. It's just it's going to take a lot of work. So we're going to take our differential equation and separate the variables. Okay, so I'm going to divide by the y minus 1 and multiply by the dx. then I can integrate both sides. All right, so when I'm looking at this dy over y plus one, um, the y plus, or y minus one doesn't have a power. So when I find the integral of that, it's gonna be the natural log of the absolute value of y minus one. And then just to double check what's in there, the derivative of y minus one with respect to y is one so we don't have to do anything else to that that is not a big deal the other side is kind of a big deal but not too bad i'm hoping when you look at this you can kind of recognize that there's some u substitution that's needed um and then i really hope you recognize that this is the inside function so u is going to be x squared plus 2x plus pi and then I need to find the derivative of that, which is 2x plus 2. And then hopefully you start understanding where um, this x plus 1 is coming into play. Um, so go ahead and solve that for du. Okay. Oop. I didn't write my dx, sorry. Okay. 
So now, for du, I need 2x plus 2 dx. And what I have is 1x plus 1 dx. So I need, I need it to multiply x plus 1 times 2. But then I have to do the 1 half in the front. Alright, so I have 1 half. And then I have the integral, all right, in the place of x squared plus the yellow x squared plus 2x plus pi. I'm going to put u, so it's cosine of u. And then all this green, 2 times x plus 1 dx, that is du. All right, so we have the natural log of the absolute value of y minus 1. All right, then I'll go ahead and do the integral. The integral of cosine of u du is sine of u plus c. And then I'm going to go ahead and fill in my u. So u is x squared plus 2x plus pi. Okay. And so this first one, the very first one we did in unit seven on these review questions, I told you that normally with natural log, we go ahead and solve it a little bit before we find the initial condition. That is what we're gonna do on this one. This one is more like what we practice mostly in class with the natural log. So we're gonna go ahead and exponentiate. This is not the only way to solve this problem. So um, if you see one like this worked out a different way, just know that it's okay um, uh, to do it a different way. This is just the way that I felt like we practiced it the most and it just made it easier. All right, so, sorry. At this point, we have this e to the, all this stuff and then the plus c. So don't forget that what we did with that c is we made it a different c and we brought it down in the front. And I could review that algebraically with you, but I'm hoping you guys remember that's what we always did. So now we're ready for the initial condition. Let me see if I can remember the initial condition. Okay, so zero for x, five halves for y. Oh, I don't really know why I changed that to a plus. I'm sorry, I'm getting tired. <laughs> So this is basically zero plus zero plus pi. Okay. So the sign, okay, that's gonna be three halves. The sign of pi is zero. Alright, so C1 is gonna be three halves because e to the zero is one. So go back to right where we were whenever we plugged in our initial condition and all we have to do is change our C to three halves. because um, we want that when our initial condition is positive um, our y uh, y y minus one is going to be positive all right and then I'm just going to need to add that one over and there it is now I would make sure I just took us you guys take it on the real test take a second plug in your initial condition of zero and just make sure you do end up with your five halves And if you don't, that doesn't mean erase everything. Like if you um, get to the end and it doesn't work, don't erase everything. Um, maybe go back on another sheet of paper and try something else. 
like this last answer right here that this is only worth one point so if you are doing everything right and you just make some little mistake in the middle um, and you erase everything and then you run out of time that takes away three or four points so um, it's important to check but if you run out of time you don't need to put in a blank paper so just you know you guys are going to do your best and you've been dealt a crappy hand and I'm sorry and I hate it I would much rather see you guys every day and get feel good about preparing you for this test um but you're I mean if you're working through these and doing your best that's all you can do um now you can go back and watch the video 